Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello folks, welcome back. It is day 42 here. I'm a minute into my farm bird run already, because uh, honestly my introduction was terrible, so we're redoing it. Today I'm in a bit of a rush because it's 3.16 as it stands, so got to get this cracked out in time to roll a spliff for 420. You know I don't miss my... 420 spliffs ever. So yeah, that's why I had a terrible intro, because I was in a rush and trying to talk at the same time. And we're past that now, so it's all good. Let's chill. Today, what's on the menu? Everything is on the menu because it's episode 42 and that's the answer. Everything. No, but seriously, we are, I think, gonna go check out the Wildy Agility course again and hopefully not leave after two laps and leave our 150k there like we did last time. Hopefully it's more like the first time we went for a full session there. Fingers crossed. But yeah, if it's busy then I'm, I might dip, but I'm hoping I don't have to. I should top up on Renars when I go to the G after this. And yeah, if all goes well, then I will stay as long as I can at the Agility Arena, skipping the end of session birdhouses, if it feels like it's going to be lucrative. I suppose I can turn my sound effects back up now, I'm not going to be flicking today. Look how many herbs we just got from that. Whole tent. So nice. The only thing that annoys me about that map is there's no number keys. Every other map has it, so if there's one that you use every day, you get used to it and you can just hit the number key. Your hand's up there anyway, because it's your F key, but I can't do that for that one. Because I use visual maps anyway, the plugin, so I'm used to seeing visual maps like that. I just, I, I like to still be able to press the numbers too. I feel like at this point we're so close to icebergs, we should probably just go for it before going back to the armored zombies. If we just did a bit of solid magic training. If we end up going back to the sulfurs after comparing that with Scurrius, then we might just be able to get 70 in a couple of days while alking. 49 runners today. Nice high rates. And a quick farm run as well. Done in 53 minutes despite my terrible intro. That was the wrong location. Okay, quick sticks. We'll get everything up on the market. And then we want to get our ass out of here because... Do we have ice plateaus? We do. We've got summer pies as well. A loot in bag. Okay. Get some Renar seeds. Oh, that's not a good price. Hopefully it's not that price. Okay, I'll leave that offer in, but then I'll also put an offer in a higher price. Kind of lucky hope they don't buy. It is just a, a weird time of day. Obviously I was trying to get in a weird time of day, so... I don't have to deal with PKs as much as possible. I feel like I'm missing some... 150k, that's what I'm missing. I may as well take my tickets as well. Okay, now I feel better. Don't want to waste any more time. Can I remember how to get into the front door or I'm going to run the wrong way? Wow. Going to need to boost that, I forgot. I mean, I don't need to boost, but if it helps, it helps. I did not mean to redeem those two tickets, but whatever. Nobody is in here. We can get our auto retaliate off, because we don't want it dragging us back around. And then, right, all I have to do is focus on 
making sure I don't mess up any laps and skip an obstacle and not getting PK'd hopefully. So here actually I'm going to test this because I'm not sure. I fell on the rope bridge. I'm not sure if I have to do the lava again. So I'm going to try going past it and see if it works. Just doing this bridge because it will save me lap time. Which is where the majority of your XP comes from. And your loot. Like doing this if I don't have to. An extra time is just not worth. Yeah it counted as a lap. Okay. Previously, if, if I fell on this bridge, I was also repeating the stepping stones. But I could have just been running around the edge. I just like never even realised there was a path here. And then I feel like I saw someone run around there in a DMM video recently. And I was like, oh, that's skippable. If you've already done it. So, little bit of knowledge gained there to start this day off. For me and y'all on the viewer's position. I think 15 laps if I remember right, is the first break point for it improving, like after 15, so 16 through 31 basically, and then above 31 is our max bracket given time. If I don't see anyone, this is actually very chill, so you got to be careful not to get too, too comfy and get caught out, but just running this course when there's no one here is not too bad at all. Of course the problem is I'll never know if there's a PK or about to hop into my world and at that point things can get dicey. Though I do have plenty of prayer on me thanks to having to eat and thus getting blighted s restores from the thing more often. Oh! He hopped, but somebody with key did just log in. That's made me a bit frightened. I hope he didn't just see me and go, oh, that guy must have just started. I'll come back in half an hour. Oh my gosh, I didn't do a full lap because I got scared. What did I miss? Maybe I missed it earlier in the lap before that guy even. For fuck's sake. Hit that I already fucked up. Okay, I'm on edge now. I know there's a PK hopping. He did stay and like look at me for a minute, but then moved on. Maybe this is a good spot to hide in that makes people not want to hit you. Because it's just awkward to get to by that point. Surely he could cast on me from there, I don't know. Maybe not because of the fence. I don't know, it's very easy to get caught if you get caught here. Like there isn't really anywhere to run if you've been frozen. That's why we have the dehyde and prayer to make sure we have prayer mage if we need it, but... And plenty of food, obviously. It's just going to be a very extended getaway if there is a getaway. Because we're going to keep getting frozen and having to tank. Which actually makes these cramp ones kind of nice. Haven't checked the loom bag at all yet. Just been letting it come in. 67k. Maybe that's ALK value. Maybe that's why the value is different on the outside to the inside. Because the ALK value is slightly higher. And I remember last time it ended up being like 5k higher. I reckon that's the ALK value. Even though I'm pretty sure my plugin is set to show me the G, it just says bag value. Oh, we got a count check. No, we can't do count check. No pin. F's in chat for the missed XP. Oh, hello. That is a person. Are they a dangerous person? They left? Maybe they just hopped away from someone? Does that mean someone's gonna hop in chasing them and catch me instead? I don't know, but there's 58 agility. The reason I decided to come back here, by the way, I just realised I totally didn't mention why I decided to come here. I kinda wanna get the quest done to access raids sooner rather than later. So then at that point, whenever we feel comfortable to start making attempts at entry mode, we can. I think I probably am going to go to standard at this point. I've been practicing on my main every now and then, just doing a, a level 150, making sure I can do it. Uh, my main obviously is going to have better stats than we have here, but I think overall the gear setup we'll be able to get on this account will be more balanced for raiding versus what I use on my Iron Man, so it should make up for the difference between 
the levels at least somewhat. You know, like I don't have a soap helm and a blowpipe and shit on my Iron Man. But we will on this. Yeah, I think we'll be able to do a 150 relatively soon after unlocking. Which means our main barrier right now is agility and fire making levels. That's what's stopping us from walking straight into a raid. Fire making levels are very quick and easy to get. We can, I'm sure, knock out five fire making levels in a single day. Which will be a nice little change of pace, I guess, from whatever activity I'm doing. Though we still won't have access to a trident. We can just use Ancients. It's a very, very acceptable alternative to use Ancients. I did a lot of my TOA raids with Ancients rather than a trident, so I'm used to that. You get extra health back from your bloods anyway, it's extra healing. We're not mad about that. So if I don't have the 75 magic, my point is, then I still feel okay going in. A Nezzy Helm we can probably get through entry mode with rather than a Serp. So the 75 defense, that's like... I feel like we've got kind of... We could get through an entry mode set up with pretty much what we've got. I would want to just get 70 magic to have it nice and round. Probably like 70 stats is where I would go into an entry. We are a little low at the minute, but we're not far off. And then maybe grind a bit more to up to the 75s. Make sure we get the levels for the extra gear we want and try normals. So yeah, I think if I'm on at a time when it's quite enough for me to do agility, then that's going to be my number one focus at the minute. Probably not every day because I don't want to be too predictable with it when I'm on. But here and there, I'll sprinkle it in with high priority if it's viable. We need to get to 62, I believe current rate is 37k an hour which isn't bad just for running laps but we also got these tickets that we do want to wait till we have more than 100 of them also we've done 15 laps at this point theoretically we should have made our entry fee back we've got 132k so we're just under but we're about to move into the second tier so we should get better loot per lap now oh a medium clue why won't let me pick it up Guess you need an invent space, you can't put in a looting bag. You know I can't resist. It's a very achievable first step. What else did we get? A myth plate legs, terrible. What? Have we actually gone up a tier? This is terrible. Why are you giving me myth? Oh, a person. Are they just running laps? Or are they dangerous? I'll say I don't love having them here. I do prefer this when I'm on my own. I kind of just assume though, when they're naked, that they hopped away from someone else, but that does make me fear there's someone else hopping in after them. And also, like, how do you even get a hop here? Because there's always mobs on you. Okay, he's just running laps, so that's okay. Maybe I should be naked so that people don't think I'm carrying. I am going to maintain distance as much as I can. Okay, that's a level 37. We don't have to worry about him. I kind of don't mind having people around that aren't PKers. Because, as bad as it sounds, they're kind of like meat shields. If a PK does come along, then there's currently a 33% chance that he goes to me if he just picks the first person he sees. He might not. He might look at people's levels and shit, but, you know, that gives a bit more time to react. So, if he just gets on the first person he sees, there's a chance that it's not me. Whereas, if I'm here on my own, there isn't a chance it's not me. It's just me. I have to say the loot's not been great today so far. I mean, we still are on... We've done 20 laps, so we've only made 25k on 20 laps. Not the best. Hopefully when we get into that next bracket, we start to see some real rewards. Oh, we got four blighted supers on that lap. That is... And a rune chair body. Okay, that was a good lap. What the fuck? Okay, so I checked on lap 20 and it was 175k. Now it's 228 after two more laps. Okay, now we're talking. That was an insane lap. I think that lap was most of that 228. Or most of the 60k difference. Another rune chain? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All you have to do sometimes is complain about the loot a little. And the thing is, I never want to complain. But it is what sometimes makes the creator look come out. Never works if I'm just sat playing not recording. 
But if I'm recording and I come playing and make myself look like an ass, then I get better luck. I don't know what it is. Some unwritten law of the universe. I feel so comfortable with my clicks knowing that I can't accidentally left click attack someone as well. Attack options and always right click. And PK skull prevention as well. Rune Kai? Okay, okay. We take those. Up to 320k now? We're talking. We're actually making money. As long as we make it out alive. Another rune chain! Should be due one more level today as well. We did get one at the start. I can't remember how close we were to it. But it was near the start of the day when we got the last level. But yeah, we should be due another one today. It's expecting 20 minutes. So assuming no interruptions. Okay, I think this is the first lap on the final loot bracket for us. Because we're not getting past 60. There we go. We got a rune kite and 10 food. Very nice. And yeah, for those who've been following Deadman All-Stars, I'm wondering, is the Wilderness Agility course only good because of their improved drop rates? Nope, it's that good in the main game too. I don't even know if anything is improved there or if it's just uniques that are improved drop rates in DMM. Maybe you can get emblems and shit too, I don't know. I really don't understand anything to do with the Deadman system, other than it's boosted. Six blind supers in a rune kite. What an insane lap. You love to see those kinds of things pop up in the chat. Check the bag. We're up to 480k. Followed by a stinker there with 10 Quran ones and an Addy plate. But at this stage, even that is not that bad. And that's one of the lower tier drops that I'll get from this bracket. Like, even that is... At least 10k, you know. Oh, I like how this guy's just standing there. He's been there for two laps. Okay, there was a PK there, but he decided not to go after any of us. There were three people. I don't get why they hop through and done. Maybe yeah, there was a PG timer, but this is singles plus, and no, he would have been able to attack me regardless. I was in line of sight. That guy stood right there. Was in line of sight. There was the other guy, wherever the hell he is. Maybe the other guy got a hop. Okay, it's making me nervous. Oh, we've got a PK on somebody else. Is that my cue? Oh no. Please tell me that guy's not on me. Fuck. We're out. Oh, he was trying to barrage me, but he got a skeleton. Oh, that, that might have just saved my life. No. Fuck. Tank mode on. Get splashed. Got me. I 
they have all these guys get them in there. I'm glad I got out. I'm pissed that I got interrupted before getting my level. Because we were so close, but it wasn't to be. Um, I think I might just go back for a few laps just to get the XP without paying. How close are we? 5k. Maybe we wouldn't get it in time. Is it better to just do birdhouse runs and out some of this stuff? Yeah, I think I will. I think I need to let my uh, heart rate just calm down a little bit. I was going to make a retaliate on that guy, but he disappeared in the time that I was getting my DDS and healing up and shit. So, yeah. He didn't have much on him, but I was 100% going to go out there and try and kill him. Because it pissed me off. That actually got on my nerves. The audacity to come after me. What are you thinking, bro? What are you thinking? One hour limit locked himself. Don't you know I'm the king of the wilderness agility course? I'm actually pretty happy that I managed to survive that. Because there was so many freezes. I didn't think I was gonna. I genuinely didn't think I was gonna make it out of there. So I'm, I'm actually super pumped that I managed to. That sort of is one of the first, like real tank i don't spend a lot of time in the wilderness so i don't do tank tests too often do you know what i mean but that was a true tank test against that guy not that he had like crazy pk gear don't get me wrong i i understand he didn't but it was more of a din it was a dangerous scenario for sure we were in danger there if uh we didn't play well i know this is really inefficient just standing here at the ge and alkin when like I could be doing literally anything else. I suppose I should at least run Camelot laps, shouldn't I? For Malkin. I should at least run Camelot laps. I'm pretty sure we have the level for this course. Well, let's just grab our darts. Should have probably done the birdhouses first, but I wanna elk this shit. I'm still all shaky from that fucking experience. Ugh. Oh, I don't have the level. F's in chat. Alright, we're going to do birdhouses then. What course can I actually run? I suppose I could do ape, but it's a bit hard to get there. Falador. We don't have teleports on us. Kind of, I guess we just do a couple laps of our rock. Try, at least try and be slightly efficient again in these last couple of minutes. And there is all the Elkin finished up. And two laps of our rock course for about 600 XP. Okay, what are we looking at? We've got 1.4 mil, we've got another 100k, we've got a decent amount in offers at the GE there for 23 Renar seeds as well, but none have come through so far. Hopefully they do overnight because it is a weird time right now, so I'm, I understand that price will probably come back down as more people are online and you know, hopefully we get them overnight. Uh, should be no problem. We still got seven and a half mil in miscellaneous as well, just as a reminder. So this is basically like it's getting close to a, a ten mil bank balance at the minute, which is very nice indeed. We mainly got agility XP today. We got forty k in total, twenty five k agility, a standard hunter and farmer, and then some magic five k there just from the Alkin. 60k until we unlock Ice Burst and our full mage potential. And we made some money along the way from the Wilderness Agility course, which certainly is nice. I think we sold everything already. Yeah, there's nothing left to sell and we alked it all. So we did make some profit there up from, I think we had about eight, 900 at the start of the day when we we're doing our farm run. 
But yeah, I'm not going to witter on too long. Hopefully this was a fun session and y'all enjoyed watching me escape from that horrible nasty bastard that tried to kill me. If you're watching whoever that is, fuck you. You're a little pussy. And that's it. I'm going to go roll a spliff because it's 417 and I definitely fucking need one. Make sure you hit that like button. Send me some GZ for my escape there. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can see me get attacked in the wilderness more often. Until next time, the look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. And I'll see you on the next one.